Hey, say hey, say hi, hi, yes. So guys, Claire is nine months old. I can't believe she is nine months old. It really is so crazy to me to think that I have a four and a half year old and a nine month old. What? Where did the time go? It's so crazy to think how big you are, girly. So this girly is crawling. She's crawling all over the place. She's into everything. She grabs everything. She clowns on everything. She pulls up on everything. She's getting to be a wild child. Yep, yeah, let's see if I can get her to stand up. She's been standing up a little bit on her own. And she's just our big little girl. And she's just playing. She'll crawl from like... Yeah, she'll crawl from our living room back here to Kinley's room. We're in Kinley's room right now. I thought this was the best lighting for this time of day and also this is where we're at and we're just doing great. She'll clap her hands, she'll wave, she says dada a lot. Dada all the time she says dada. And then she says mama more when she's mad, when she's like mad. I don't know how to explain it but she's just all the time like ma. She'll be like ma. Like I don't know, I can just hear mama coming out when she's crying and stuff a lot of times. She's wanting me. She's definitely a mama's girl. She always wants me to hold her a lot. And as soon as I get home, she's all excited and wanting me to hold her. And I really can't do a whole lot when I get home. She just wants me. And if I try to cook or clean or anything, she's just wanting me to hold her a lot. Um, so a lot of times I sit down with her and play with her. And yeah, so what you guys see in her daily vlogs, and you get to see a lot of what she's doing in her daily vlogs. If you don't watch this, you can check them out. And yeah, so she's doing great. She's going on 20 pounds now, and she is just a growing girly. Her, an update on her eye appointment is not going to be until after, it's not, blah, blah, <laughs> is her doctor's appointment isn't going to be after she's a one year old for her eye doctor appointment and sent, I don't know I guess they say really busy so whenever I called to make her appointment they said that it was gonna be a while until they could get her in I said that's fine and I was very leaning on I said anytime really morning afternoon you know whenever since that far away it's hard to plan or I can plan around it so she said it wasn't going to be until October, like the end of October. So she's going to be like one and a month old and she's trying to get the camera. And anyways, I feel like it's looking better. Maybe it'll get better by then. But I feel like anyways, if they, sometimes my clients have told me that they usually get them to wear um, a patch over the good eye and try to strengthen the other eye, which I feel like that might be what they might do. So I don't know. I've never been to an eye doctor. I've never had to wear glasses or had eye problems. So I have no idea. Like I will be completely new at this. So I don't know what we'll do. She always sticks out her tongue like she was just doing. If she'll still do it. No. So like, her tongue, sticks it out. She just wants to play all the time. And her hair is lightened up a lot. As you can see. If you go back to see her baby pictures and videos. She had really dark, dark brown hair. Now it's like a lighter brown. Kinsley's was blonde at this point, which hers started out like a reddish brown and then lightened up. And so hers is lightened up a lot, but still kind of like a dirty blonde or <laughs> it's not as quite as blonde as Kinsley's. And she really wants the camera. Yes, she does. Yes, yes, you do. And let's see, what else? You gonna dance for him? Dance, dance. She likes for me and Kinsley to sing to her. Like Patty Cake and It's a Bitsy Spider. And let me get my phone here. Her schedule now, she has an 8-ounce bottle um, in the morning, usually 8 or 9-ish. She'll have lunch about lunchtime. She'll eat baby food second stage with a little bit of rice cereal and formula mixed in with it. And then she'll have her, usually have a nap at some point in the morning and afternoon, um, usually around 11-ish. And then about 2-ish going on 3. And then she eats dinner at 4. And then sometimes, depending on what we're doing that day, she'll have another little snack before bedtime around 7. And then sometimes she doesn't. It just depends. And then whatever that, if she does have a snack then, then she usually gets like 4 to 6 ounce bottle right before bedtime. If she doesn't get it, then she gets her 8 ounce bottle right 8 or 9 o'clock. Now, re very recently here at 9 months, she has... 
sorry guys, she just knocked the camera down. So, she, ah, I'm not sure if I can, okay. So, she very recently here at nine months has regressed at nighttime and been waking up. She's never, like, two months on, she has not ever woken up during the night for anything. Like, the only reason she woke up, because she couldn't mind her past seat, I give her past seat, she went right back to sleep. Well, now for some reason, she just started, and of course the first night I thought, sorry Molly, I thought like this is a random night, because every once in a while she would do it really randomly, and I would get her up, feed her a bottle, she might stay up for just a little bit, and she'd be ready to get back to bed. Um, but, no, she, the past few nights she has been wanting to stay up. So, now we are, I'm trying to just go in settle down, lay right down on their passy pad about get her to get yeah. back to sleep. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, that that works. I'm going to try not to get up and feed her because I think since she's getting older and she sees me come in, she thinks, oh yeah, mom's here and I get to get up, you know. So I'm trying to get her to get back on her schedule. And I think also it has a lot to do with coming back from the beach and being wore out from the beach. But then when she's just here at home, she doesn't get as wore out being out on the ocean and stuff like she was. I think she's just trying to get back on her schedule. Other than that, it's been great. She loves the pool. We go swimming a lot. She loves to swim. And she's feeding herself as far as with snacks, different snacks goes. She'll eat the little puffs, um, all kinds of the mom moms, whatever, all the baby snacks. She loves all of those. Give her to those. She's got her her two bottom teeth are really in now. Her two top teeth are starting to come in. And I think that is also another reason I think she's waking up um, at night. I think it's because her top teeth are coming in. And they are really sharp. And that the left one is really coming in. That right one is a tiny bit peeking through. I think those are coming in and those are kind of aggravating her. Um, we'll probably go soon to the doctor. Her nine month appointment. Let's don't eat that. Here. Sorry guys, she had something in her mouth. We'll probably go to the doctor. We'll probably go to the doctor soon um, for another checkup. And her clay size, her clay sizes, she is in pretty much nine months. Six to nine months are good, nine months. Even some 12 months up I'll let her wear. She's starting to get chunky now for sure. Really, this is the stage I feel like they get really chunky before they start walking and getting really active but i think when she starts walking she's going to be into everything like all over the place because she already as soon as she started crawling she's been into everything and going as fast as she can i think when she starts walking she's going to run after kinsley and it's going to be crazy and yeah my grandma still is keeping the girls while i work which is super yeah. nice that she's able to do that and i'm so glad that she can stay with them and are able to do that and I not not have to take them to a daycare and that's been really awesome and she does great with them and it's just been really good. And sister still loves her so much. They play together and we have this new toy or it's new to Claire. It's Kimberly's old toy that's like a door and it's a big toy that they play with. They've been playing with that together actually a good bit. So that's been fun to see them play together and growing up together and all that. She's also her diaper sizes. She's in threes now. So and we still use the nighttime diaper and she's trying to hit the camera again. What's you doing? What's you doing? <laughs> so anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Come here. Can you say bye guys? Thanks for watching. So have a great day. We love you guys. Oh yeah, her teething necklace. She's still wearing her teething necklace and all the time right now, since I really think she's teething a lot right now. She we've been using the OR gel when we need to on her teeth. Other than that, um, this is about what we're up to. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, check out our daily vlogs. Website hairstylesheather.com. And we'll try to do another, maybe I can do another love chat right now. I think I might. Okay, anyways, um, we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye! Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. That's fine. They won't let me ask them. Yes, they would. They <laughs> yes, they would. You said. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Y
But let's eat. Yes. I'm not losing this one. Alright, let's win now. I win. Let's kiss. Yeah, you will lose. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Better think again. <laughs>